Hey y'all, listen. Earlier today, I heard Marvin Winans singing his song, Just Don't Wanna Know, okay? And when it got to that part, I'm over it now. It really resonated. I knew God was speaking, saying that somebody needs to hear this. Why? Because people, places, and things have been in a state to manipulate you, have shot an arrow at you of their thoughts about you, and therefore you have been in a torment in your mind been tortured. Why? Because people are holding you what? To a place in their mind of that flaw. And God said that he's going to position you to be over it. Why? Because God said that he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us. They are of what? Of peace and not of evil. Okay. Do not allow people, places, and things that are being manipulated by the enemy to what? Manipulate you. We send every arrow, every fiery dart that has been sent your way to cause you to be in a state of less than, to make you feel like you're nobody, to make you feel like you're tolerated, to make you feel like what? You're not appreciated. Listen, we send those arrows and fiery darts back to the kingdom of darkness with God's wrath and judgment attached, okay? That's what's happening right now. And God is saying that he is positioning you to be over it to be over it, that it will no longer torture you. You will sleep like a baby. Yes, you will, because now you know who you are by the thoughts that God thinks towards you. I can hear Marvin Winer singing it. I'm over it now, over it now. I can't say how, but I'm over it, over it now. <laughs> Over it now, I can't say how, but I'm over it. Over it now, over it now, I can't say how, but I'm over it. Um, hey, um, hey, um, you're over it. You're over it. Dust, dust the dust, brush the dust off of your feet, okay? As Jesus told the disciple, if they will not receive you, if they don't want to receive your truth or what God thinks about you, then God said, brush that dust off of your feet, brush it off your shoulders, brush it off of you. Why? Because you can't be held responsible for somebody's ignorance, okay? You got to stay in freedom. Why? Because if you stay in ignorance, which means you have no knowledge, God said you will be placed in captivity activity and perish. So don't believe somebody else's lie about you because if you do, you will be walking in a state of ignorance of what God knows about you. Those thoughts which are of peace and not of evil. God said he's positioning you to be over it. Sing with me. I'm over it now, <laughs> over it now. I can't say how, but I'm over it, over it now. Mm. Over it now, I can't say how, but I'm over it, over it now. Over it now, I can't say how, but I'm over it. Um. Hey, oh, 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 what? Yes, uh-huh. We're over it now. Uh, 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 uh. Now I'm just having fun with it, but surely, surely, God is saying he's positioning you to be over it. You will no longer be tortured, okay? Walk in freedom, walk in liberty, walk in peace, walk with a sound mind. Because I'm telling y'all, if you allow other people's thoughts about you, that is coming from the kingdom of darkness to penetrate your head, then what's going to happen? You're going to walk in a state of fear. They're going to make you try to second guess yourself. And that's what the enemy does. Whenever the enemy comes with lies against you, even if it was a fact about you that you used to be a certain way, the enemy will always try to hold you to that flaw. And we all know that it is only through God's righteousness that makes us what? Righteous. But what the enemy will try to do, try to hold us in a state of condemnation, which means what? Try to keep us from our true identity in Christ Jesus. So God is saying he's positioning you yet again. I think I said about three or four times. He is positioning you to be over it. Okay. To be over it. Now walk in victory. Okay. 
walk in freedom because now you know the thoughts that God has towards you and they are of peace. No longer torture. Sleep like a baby. Eat well. Go watch your favorite show. Go praise the Lord. Go live your life, the abundant life. Why? Because God said he shall indeed deliver you and he just did. In Jesus' name. I love y'all, and most of all, Jesus loves you too. If you didn't get this thing, listen, you better rewind it and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit, just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply it to your life to the best of your ability, you are the ever, the ever have the message smile. Why? Because your smile. So always be genuine. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. We what? We over it. Yes, we are.